Hi, this is question 7 from the AQA Core 3 January 2013 exam paper. Um, for the first part of this video, I'd like you to try the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and give the question a go. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go at the question. I'm now going to give you a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. Um, a curve has equation y is equal to 4x times cos 2x. For part A, we need to find an exact equation of the tangent to the curve at the point on the curve where x is equal to pi over 4. So we're looking for the equation of the tangent at this point here. Now, um, you might be able to spot straight away that this is going to be a negative tangent. So um, when we get our answer, it should be a negative number. What we want to do, um, first of all, is work out the gradient of this tangent here. Um, and we can use this and we can differentiate this to give us a gradient function. It looks like we're going to use a product rule. And once you've got the um, uh, gradient function, we can um, put pi over 4 into it to work out the gradient of the tangent and then go on to find the equation of that tangent. Part B says the region shaded on the diagram below is bounded by the curve y is equal to 4x times cos 2x and the x-axis from x equals 0 to x equals pi over 4. By using integration by parts, find the exact value of the area of this shaded region. So what we need to do, and, and actually in the formula book, you're given um, the formula for integration by parts. Now I've put this over here for you. And um, you want to decide which of these is going to be u and which of these are going to be dv by dx. Um, and then you can substitute um, all of that into um, this here and um, and then put in your limits to work out what the um, area of the shaded region is going to be. Okay, those are my hints for you. Um, if you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can have a go at the question. Okay, I'm now going to go over the solutions um, to this question here. I'm just going to give myself a little bit more room to work in. Right, um, we're going to start with part A over here. Okay, so um, we first of all need to know the gradient um, function for this. Um, so I'm going to start by saying, well, dy by dx, and I'm going to use the product rule. So for the product rule, I'm going to do um, 4x times by the derivative of cos 2x. Now the derivative of cos 2x is going to be minus 2 sine 2x. So I'm going to have 4x times by minus 2 sine 2x. And then I'm going to add and now I'm going to do the derivative of this times by um, cos 2x, which is going to be 4 cos 2x. Okay, so just simplifying this a little bit, I'm going to have um, 4 cos 2x, which is this bit here, take away 8x sine 2x. Okay, so this is the gradient function. I'm um, now going to use this to work out what the gradient of the tangent at this point is. So at this particular point, x is going to be equal to pi over 4. So when x is equal to pi over 4, dy by dx, the gradient is going to be 4 times cos and that's going to be cos pi over 2 so that's 2 times pi over 4 take away and 8 times pi over 4 is going to be 2 pi times sine of 
2 times pi over 4 which is going to be pi over 2. Okay, um, so that's going to be equal to, um, well cos of pi over 2 um, is actually going to be 0. So this here is going to give me a value of 0. Sine of pi over 2 is going to give me a value of 1. So this here is going to be negative 2 pi. So I've got 0 take away 2 pi which is just going to be um, 2 pi. Sorry, negative 2 pi. Okay, um, so that's what the um, gradient is going to be and I'm just going to call that m so we can say that m is going to be equal to minus 2 pi. Now I can stick this because I want to know what the um, equation of the tangent is where I can write down that y take away y1 is going to be equal to m times x take away x1. And um, so the point that we know is this one here and um, at this point here um, x is going to be pi over 4 and y is going to be 0. So y take away 0 is y and we've got minus 2 pi times x take away and it's going to be pi over 4. And there you go. Um, that's fine as an answer, you can simplify it if you want, um, but we can leave it like that. Right, moving on to part B, I'm just going to move this over here, and I can start part B. Over here, right, okay, so, um, for part B, we need to um, find the shaded area here. We're going to use integration by parts. So um, we've got the formula for that over here. Now I need to decide um, what is going to be u and what is going to be dv by dx. So I'm going to um, use for the 4x as u, so I'll just put a u there, and the cos 2x is going to be my dv by dx. And I know that I can differentiate u easily and I can integrate cos 2x easily. Okay, so um, over here I'm going to say that u is equal to 4x, which means du by dx is equal to 4. And I'm going to say dv by dx. is equal to cos 2x so v is going to be and as you to integrate cos 2x and that gives me a half of sine 2x okay um, I'm just going to move this along a little bit Oops. Okay, so um, I'm now going to go ahead and we'll write down um, our integral. So uh, u dv by dx is going to be 4x cos 2x, which is what we're integrating. And I'm going to call that i. So my integral is going to be equal to u times v, which is 4x times by half sine 2x which is 2x sine 2x take away the integral of v times du by dx so it's going to be this times this so half sine 2x times 4 which is going to be 2 sine 2x and I'm just going to take that outside of my integral so 2 sine 2x Okay, um, and th our limits are going to be pi over 4 and 0. So I'll have pi over 4 up here, 
and zero down here and also pi over 4 up here and zero down here. Okay so um, what we need to do now is to integrate this bit and um, so we've got i is going to be equal to and we're going to have 2x sine 2x take away 2 times the integral of sine 2x and if I integrate sine 2x I get minus a half cos 2x it's going to be minus a half cos 2x my limits are going to be pi over 4 and 0 and coming down over here now and I'm just going to simplify this bit here we've got i our integral is going to be equal to um, 2x sine 2x take away sorry if I multiply this out I've got plus um, cos 2x and our limits are going to be pi over 4 and 0 okay I can now um, put my limits into this so I've got um, the area of the um, shaded part of this um, is going to be equal to uh, so we've got 2 times pi over 4 which is pi over 2 times by the sine of pi over 2 plus the cos of pi over 2 take away 2 times 0 times the sine of 0 well that bit there is just going to be 0 plus the cos of 0 ok and um, expanding this out um, well the sine of pi over 2 um, is going to be 1 so we've got 1 times pi over 2 which is going to be pi over 2 plus and the cos of pi over 2 is going to be 0 um, and we're taking away the cos of 0 which is 1 so that's going to be take away 1 and because we're being asked for the exact value of the area of the shaded region um, we would leave our solution in this form here. So the area of the shaded region is going to be pi over 2 take away 1. Okay hopefully you found that useful and um, thanks very much for joining me I'll see you again soon take care.